Did you know you can bulk create your Pinterest pins using Canva and ChatGPT? We can actually speed the process along just a little bit, make it a little faster, make it a little bit more strategic, and waste a little bit less time by using this feature. So this is a Canva Pro feature, just so you're aware. And don't come at me in the comments. If you wanna try a 30 day free trial, you can, but I'm warning you up front, it's a, it's a paid plan. You have to have a paid plan. Couple of things that you wanna know. Number one, you cannot use grids. You have to use frames. I will explain this more in the screen recording. And number two, make sure your pin design that you actually want to use is fully set up before you begin importing your data. Otherwise, you're gonna have to start all over with importing your data. Learn from my mistakes for the love of all things holy, okay? Now that you know those two crucial things, let's hop on into the screen recording and I will show you exactly how to do this in just a few minutes time. The ChatGPT prompts for Pinterest. If you already have them, just revisit the free resource library and grab this one here it should open a new file in your window. So this is the template for the pin titles that we are gonna use. Please ignore, and it's gonna tell you ignore anything before. The only thing that you're gonna to wanna to change with the template is what's in bold. So I will make sure that that's obvious for you when you grab the template. So it's Pinterest ads for Etsy sellers is our topic today. And this is the list of keywords that I wanna use. I've also included a couple additional um, markdowns or instructions for it that I don't want it to do. No emojis, no quotation marks. That was not in the original chat GPT video I created. Now copy and paste your template into chat GPT and then hit enter. And what it's going to do is it's just going to generate a list for you. Now you can, I, you can see, I told it not to use quotation marks and it still did. So I'm going to mark it down again. I'm going to tell it to please remove quotation marks. Once it's removed the quotation marks and I'm going to tell it, please remove exclamation points as well. Cause that's just way overboard. Once we are done with this, now we can actually begin to insert this into Canva. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can upload the data with a CSV file, or you can just copy and paste it into the row. Now, before we get started, I need to inform you how we're actually going to have Canva insert images for us. So we actually need, if you are using my templates, sometimes we use grids, you need to use a frame instead of a grid. Now there's two in elements. There's a section called frames and there's a section called grids. Grids will not work, unfortunately, even though they do the same thing. So you need to go to frames and choose the frame that you want. So if you're using a template from someone else's Etsy store, from my store, you just need to make sure that it's a frame. So you can even search for the size that you want or the shape, and it will pop out a bunch of different options for you. So I already have added one here. I just need you to know that before we get started. Now, Go to apps and you want to look for bulk create. You may need to search for it, but I actually find it right here because I use this so often. Click bulk create. And these are those two options that you have. Now I actually don't want to upload via CSV file because my images are already in Canva. If you want to bulk create and have Canva insert all of your images for you, then you wanna make sure all your images are pre-uploaded into Canva before you get started. I've talked about this in many of my Canva videos in the past. One of the quickest ways to stay streamlined is to organize everything in Canva. Okay, so I'm just gonna click enter data manually and I'm gonna click clear table and give this one a title of pin title. Then I'm going to come back over to ChatGPT, copy and paste my pin titles, paste these in. You can see it's got 10 rows and I'm gonna click add image. From here, I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna find all of my images. My brand photos are in folders and I'm just gonna begin adding images into this for the sake of this video. Okay, once we are done with inserting all of our images and we have our pin titles, you're gonna click the done button. Now we need to connect this data to the design. 
So the very first thing we're going to do is connect our pin title to our data. So go and right click on the text box that you're going to put your pin title and click connect data and choose pin title. For the image, you're going to right click the frame where you want it to go and you're going to click image. Then I'm going to situate my little cover back over the top of the image and I'm going to click in the bottom left hand corner continue. And now I want it to generate 10 pages of content. It's going to make another copy and it's going to go and insert this text with the image you put in the row. And now you're going to need to go through and just slightly edit these. Now I wouldn't use these images myself on these designs particularly, but I wanted to give you a really quick overview of how this actually works. Now, if you wanted to do the same thing, but you didn't want to add this image, on, just go back to enter data manually and delete this column. Click done. And then the data for pen title is still connected. If you needed to connect it again, just click connect data and choose pen title. And then click generate 10 pages. And you can actually go in and insert whatever images you want to in here now. So then you can have a little bit more control or if you're having a hard time finding images or if you want to use the photos app inside of Canva to use images from Canva, you can definitely do that as well. So you don't have to select the images in the bulk create settings. You can definitely add them later. Like here, I would add my, um, my freebie that I would give away my free Pinterest strategy guide. And then I would just edit these pin titles a little bit, adjust them a tiny bit. And I would do that for each of them. And then from here, you just need to, once you're done actually editing everything, it looks right. You can then download them all and schedule them via Pinterest, Tailwind. If you wanted to schedule them via um, Canva, you could even do that. So we could go home, create a design, and we would do a Pinterest pin. If you wanted to schedule them inside of Canva, you cannot bulk create all the images in one file and schedule them all. Instead, from your bulk create file, you would just simply insert and then come here, go to Pinterest, connect the Pinterest account. Once it's connected, it will show in your settings over here. And then you can schedule each individual pin to the boards where you want it to go. And then you can schedule them right inside of Canva. So you can see here, promoted pins on Pinterest, you can add a pin title, description, the URL where you want it to go, and then you can connect it via the content calendar right here inside of Canva. So there's so many different options, but right out of the gate, this can help you to create Pinterest pins using one single design idea inside of your template library. So if I were you, I would actually do a smaller subset. So maybe an, a set of four with one design and then another set of four with another design and then a third set of four with a third design, then mix and match those up. So when your Pinterest pins actually publish out to Pinterest, it's not actually the same exact design going out every single day. Then you could just mix and match all your different designs. And that's it. That's how you use Canva to bulk create your Pinterest pins. All right, now that you know how to use bulk create in Canva and speed your pin design process along, there's no excuses, should not take you hours to make Pinterest pins. And don't forget to grab the free prompt that I've already created for you. Hundreds of people have already grabbed those prompts actually and you are well on your way to creating catchy, strategic, SEO-rich headlines or pin titles and bulk creating your Pinterest pins. From here, I want you to go learn how to optimize your Pinterest pins and I will see you next time.